Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is the joy of painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So, if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Oh, hello and welcome once again to the Joy of Painting Middle Earth. We're ready to go. We've got another black canvas this week and we have it prepared. I've put down that liquid clear. That's right, just a, a layer liquid clear so we can do the wet on wet technique the Blue Wizard taught us how to do. Oh, that's right. You know the Blue Wizard, Bob Ross the Blue. He used to come to the Shire once a week when I was just a boy. So we've got our colors here, alizarin crimson, oh, Van Dyke brown, midnight black, bright red, cadmium yellow, and of course titanium white. We're gonna get started as I said we had that prepared. Now what are we doing today? Oh we're doing oh Gandalf's fall when he fell from the bridge of Casa Doom and he fell with that Balrog. So we're going to paint the lower caverns here and I'm just picking up some of that alizarin crimson because oh that Balrog he was he was on fire, he was, that's right. He had those flames coming off of him. And that's what gives it light down in this dark part of the world. So we're just mixing in some lizard and crimson here. That's right, just putting that in. And you're not gonna be able to see it very well. Not at first, we'll mix some other colors in there. But that's just going to come. They're going to be falling, falling through that ceiling there. And there's the lake down at the bottom of that, that abyss. That's right. So we just mix some of that in. There we are. And then, of course, it's going to be water down here. And that's going to pick up some of that reflection as well. So down here, we just want to put this right across here. And as I said, you don't see that real well yet, but you will. We'll put some, we'll put some color to it, and then you'll see it. There we go. There we are, just across there as well. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting this cavern, and it's going to be filled with stalactites and stalagmites. Now. I can never remember which ones go up and which ones go down. That's right. This is this is an art show, not a science show, as I've said in the past. That's right. If you want to know about art, we'll do some art here. But science, oh, we did have a wizard who'd he'd come and teach us science when I was just a kid, but he didn't have a color. We didn't call him a color. He was just Mr. Mr. Wizard, and he wasn't very nice. He'd always yell at us and, and make fun of us, so... Oh, let's get back to this. We're going to wash our brush in odorless paint thinner. That's right. Just wash that out in our bucket here. And then instead of beating the sauron out of the brush on our easel because we're inside the hobbit hole, I have a rubbish bin down here. Oh, there we go. And the Mrs. Hobbit will stay much happier. Much happier that we have that there. All right, let's give us some... Oh, we're just going to come with... Oh, just a fan brush, just the corner of this fan brush. And we're going to come in here. I'm just going to take some bright red here. Bright red. And we're going to mix a little bit of this cadmium yellow. Just that orangish color there. Just mix that up. And we're going to come here. We're just going to put some color on here. So now you'll see those colors come out. Oh, there we go. There's that orange. And we'll soften this back up. There we are. And that's just going to be right where they're coming into this cavern. There we are. Just putting that background color there. And then maybe take some of this. And it's going to come through our water here too. So... There we are, and try and make it a straight line across. It's okay if you don't. 
I always, I always am standing off to the side. I'm trying not to be in your way, so I'll tilt my head and I won't see much. There we are. And let's just come, let's just come straight into some of our cadmium yellow there. And this is going to be the brightest spot right here. So we're going to put that in, but we'll mix it out. We'll mix it out. So it's not going to be that bright, that bright, not all over anyways. There we go. Just mix that in. And we're just making this spot here. We'll come back and we'll highlight. We'll put in our, our structures for our cave there. There we go. Just bring it down this way and that. There we are. And again, just come into our water, just kind of cleaning off that brush. Very dark, very cold water down at the bottom of this cave. That's right. Oh, that is right. So now we're going to come just grab one of our blender brushes and we're just going to blend this together. Just lightly putting in, just softening that out. There we go. Soften that out. Just little circles there. We may put more light down there, but first we're going to we're going to take care of this area up here. All right. Now as I said, you have things in your your cavern here. You have to think about how this is laid down, how you're seeing it. Now, the things that are coming more towards the center point, those are going to be the furthest in the back. And then as they come up on your canvas, those are going to be what's closest to you. So you're going to have less detail back this way, more detail right up in here. So we're going to make, oh, we're going to make, uh, we're going to take our Van Dyke Brown. And what we're doing is, we're almost doing like mountains. So we're going to put some of these in just using maybe lighten that up just a tad. Just get some of that titanium white. Let's mix it in here off to the side and then we can bring it in. There we go. Just kind of that dull color there. Just grab a spike of that on your palette knife. Now normally we're doing mountains like this, but today we're going to, the mountains are going to be coming up. So it's a little bit of a, oh, it's, it's a little bit of a technique that's a little backwards for us. There we go. So we'll be coming up. There we are. And you're just putting these, just putting these in right here. So this is just cavern walls back this way. Just let that paint break off the knife. And back here, you're not going to have a lot of details. So we're just going to, we're just putting this in. It's just something, these rocks have not seen light in a very, very long time. So we just put this on our knife and we just are making this. So this is just the walls in the back. Coming out this way, these edges are going to be very dark because not a lot of light is hitting those edges. That's right. Oh, and our poor fellowship, our poor fellowship. Oh, they're way up there. They're way up there and they'd just seen Mr. Gandalf fall and they still had to make an escape. They had to get away from those orcs. Oh, yes. We're just kind of letting that get lost in that light there, that bright light. Just pull that up. And then on this side, I'm just going to flip my hand over. Here, we'll make some of these. A little more detailed there.
and we kind of want to make this a circle right around there. Almost like that's an eye. Oh, don't say that, Timbo. Don't say that's an eye. Oh, we don't like those eyes. Those eyes are quite scary to us. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Just using this knife, just making some of that rock. There we are. That down this way. Maybe get a little darker there. That's what we're doing. We're just pushing this paint right into the canvas, just making these stalactites, stalagmites. I think it's mites go up and tights come down. You know, if you have if you have some ants and they're crawling up your trousers. That's right, that's how you remember. I remember from my my younger days. Okay, see if I can Stay out of your way here. Bring that right like that. There we go. Just giving some detail here. And then we may come back and highlight this with some of our color. There we go. Now we may want to say, oh, that doesn't look like an eye. That's too scary. Maybe it's a mouth. Oh, the mouth of Sauron. That's not much better. Not much better at all. All right. All right, Timbu. There may be some little ones watching. We don't want to scare all the little hobbits out there. Oh, there we go. There we are. Just do some more of that over here. Now that we've got that in around that area, oh, let's put some more right there. Now just bring some of that, some of that out out towards the side there. Just kind of making shapes. There we are. There we go. Now let's come, let's, oh, maybe, I don't know, what are we gonna do? Maybe we'll put a little bit of, a little bit of orangish mist right here. We're just gonna separate this some. There we go, get some more of that. This. We just want this to have that misty look out on the edges. And we'll come and we'll, we'll put some darker, put some darker shades in there as well. Um, maybe, maybe grab some of that white mix in there. So it's not too bright. Oh, I may have made that a little bright, but that's okay. We just work that down. I 
Again, steady out your canvas, it's okay. You're not gonna punch a hole through it. There we go. We're just putting this in and we're gonna come over with some darker, more silhouetted stalactites or stalagmites. Mites, tights, tights come down. That's right, they come down from the ceiling. You didn't know you were gonna learn about science today when you flipped on old Timbo Took. That's right, you can learn a thing or two. Oh no, you probably can't. You probably can't, I'm probably even wrong. Don't pay attention to old Timbo. Just push that in, come out this way, there we go, over that way. Now, let's come back and we want to go a little darker. We want some of that Van Dyke Brown, let's even darken that up. Some of our Midnight Black. These are, are just going to be like silhouetted. There's not a lot of light. These are closer to us, and that light is far away. We're observing this from a long way off. Oh, what kind of observer are we if we're seeing this? Are we an orc in that cave? Is that what we're doing there? There we go. Just put in some of those. Come down this way. Hopefully I'm not in your way. Hopefully not in your way. Let's do one over here. Oh, come right here, this guy. And it gets a little tough right there because of that, that thing on top of that canvas there. It's holding it in. So we're just kind of creating a frame around this picture. Maybe this guy comes down a little closer. Maybe we have one that comes right here. I'll just come like this, like this, and we'll fill this guy in right there. Right there. There we go. Now let's let's wipe off this palette knife and let's put some highlight on some of these. Some of these are are picking up a little bit of that light. So we'll come, we'll grab some of this here, some of our bright red, some of our yellow, make that orange. We don't want to mix it all together. We want to keep it, some of those colors separate. Just put them on your palette knife. Now we're going to come here and this is like putting snow on mountains. Oh, that might be a little bright, but that's okay. That's okay. You have to remember these oil paintings, those colors will dull as it dries. They'll get a little more dull. There we go. Just highlighting some of those. We may have gotten a little too excited with those highlights in the beginning. That's okay. That's okay. You can learn by watching old Timbo. You can say, oh, Timbo, you did that a little heavy. Oh, that's right. A little heavy handed with some of it. That's okay. That's okay. Just grab some more. We'll just come over here. 
these walls are just picking up some of that light from that battle between Gandalf and that, oh, that Balrog of Morgoth. Oh, that's right. That's an even older enemy than old Sauron. Morgoth. Woo. We'll talk more about stories with old Morgoth. And we're just putting these little highlights in. Just highlighting some of these rocks that are picking that up, reflecting that. I don't know if there's any creatures. I know there's unnamed things that live in the deep. But I don't know about creatures that, oh, little creepy crawly things. They may have been down there and hadn't seen light like this and, oh, Thousands of years. There we go. That was a little thick in there. Let's just kind of take that out some so it doesn't look so bad. There we go. There we go. Now. Let's come into our water here. Some of this is reflected right down here. Put that in there. And that's picking up what's fallen towards it. What's fallen towards it now. Let's just go to a dry brush, somewhat dry, and let's pull this out for our reflection. There we go. Just a few strokes across. And that just picks up that light that's fallen straight down through here. <clears throat> now let's come, let's come. Oh, we're just picking up this fan brush here. Well, maybe, maybe we want to use... We just have this flat brush. See that? It's thin, it's flat. We're just going to take that and we're going to come with our trail of fire. Load that up on that little brush and oh, let's see. This comes right down this way. Hopefully I'm making a straight line there. I think I'm losing some, I'm losing more color than I'm picking up. So let's get this thinned out just a little. Thin this out just a little. We don't want to lose so much color, but right here. Now. This is where Gandalf and that Balrog were there falling. Just coming with some yellow in here to make it bright in the center there. And we'll pull that out. There we go. Pull that up, bring it towards the center as it goes. That is where our wizard and that Balrog are fallen. I'm just going to come to some red here 
I've got it a little thin and we're just going to streak some of that in round those edges. Picked up some brown, don't want to do that. Knock that off your brush, come back and we'll streak that in. There we go. So there's our fireball. Now let's come Now we want to make almost an inky black here that we can just paint on. We've got this liner, the script liner brush, just coming in, thinning this down, rolling it on. We want to make that a little like ink. Hopefully it sticks. That's a big part to the art here is getting the consistency of your oil paint enough so it sticks when you try and put it on. So we'll see if we have it enough there. There we go. We just put that guy in. And we don't have to make it too distinct. It's very far away, especially as my eyes get older and older, things that are far away get harder and harder to see. So it doesn't take much of the imagination for me to think that I couldn't see that very well. I don't know about you, but that's how old Timbo Took's eyes are. And we're going to make this... We're going to bring this out this way as if that Balrog had some wings. Although my friend Matt over at Nerd of the Rings, he pointed out how they would look and I don't think they'd have wings. But sometimes in stories we make monsters taller, we make their fangs longer, we make their claws bigger. But sometimes we give them ring, rings. Oh, dare me. Let's not give those creatures rings. I meant to say wings. Oh, I think a ring might have a hold of me. All right. So we just tap that in. There's, there's our fight going on in there. Oh, Mr. Gandalf and that Balrog fallen towards the abyss. Now they fall into this lake, and that extinguishes the fire of the Balrog when they fall into that cold, cold lake. And then from there, they must swim their way out of the lake, and there's tunnels, tunnels that go even deeper than this lake. And that Balrog tries to escape, and he's all slimy at that point. And oh, Mr. Gandalf, he follows him down through those tunnels. Tunnels that went deeper than the dwarves even knew. Tunnels that were made by the nameless things. Oh, tunnels that were, were older than Sauron himself. That's right. Mr. Gandalf chased that Balrog through those tunnels. He chased that Balrog through those tunnels. And then they found, oh, the never-ending stair that went up to Durin's tower, all the way up to the top of the mountains. Well, maybe we'll paint that one next. Maybe we'll paint that one next. Let's give some rock. Let's put some rocks down here. I want it to be a little lighter. They're probably so, the darkness is so thick, you probably couldn't even see these rocks. But we want to give you something to look at in this painting. So we'll just come, we'll make some rocks right here. Right there. Well, that side got more highlighted than this side, and that shouldn't have been. That shouldn't have been. Make that more of a rock shape. That was a little too bright, brighter than I wanted it. At first I said, oh, let's make this so you can see that there's something down here. 
and then I made it I made it a little too bright so let's just take some of that off and we're gonna come right to this dark right here and let's just make this side darker make that side darker that's all right now you can see now you can see right there There we go. Let's maybe do another one of those. I guess that didn't turn out too bad. Let's do one over here and then we'll uh, we'll make it a reflection that's sticking right up out of the water. That's what we'll make it. Hopefully I'm not in your way there. That one's a little bigger there. Right there. Now again, let's let's make that a little darker. So we'll just wipe that off. Come to that black, and then this side will will make that a little darker there. That's all there is to it. Just right down there. All right, maybe we'll even have them reflect in some of that light. So we'll come to here, some of that duller orange. That's what we're doing. We're grabbing some of that. It's a little more dull. These rocks aren't nearly as close, although that went on. And all right, there we go. Wipe some of that off. Let's get some more of that. Some more of that right there. Let's do this one on this side now. Oh, there we go. Now, of course, those rocks, they look like they're just floating in outer space like that. So, let's just take, we've got our one inch brush. We're just gonna grab a little bit of this and we're just gonna bring this down, bring it straight down. We just wanna remember this, these are sitting in water. So we'll put a little reflection on them. Just grabbing that paint at the bottom and pulling it straight down. There we go, knock off some of that paint you may have picked up and then let's just bring these straight across. There we go. And this one, the same with this. There we are. So that gives it a little reflection. Now I think I did that a little crooked because I turned my head again. There we are. There we go. Now we can take that, wash that brush, take that same brush. I may have had a little too much, too much paint in there. So we'll just take that and kind of pick some of that up. Just spread it across, make the water the rest of the way. There we go. If you think, oh, I got too much on there, you can just take a paper towel. Just go, oh, that's too much. Let's pull some of that off. Pull some of that paint right off. There we go. And I keep changing the angle on that. <laughs> well, water comes way up here. Let's... I'm just erasing this whole stone. What am I doing? What am I doing, Timbo? What are you doing? All right, Timbo. Let's do this. Let's just put at the base of that rock. We don't want it to be too bright white because we don't have 
those kind of reflections down here. Uh, just right at the base of this rock. Just put that in. There we go. Do the same on the other side. Just get a little bit of that color. Just mix it up on there. And just come right at the where the water meets the rock. Just put a line there. There you go. There we go. And then we can, of course, if we want to put, we want to frame that out, just take some of this paint here. Just take some of this paint here. And then we can put in, oh, some stalag. Stalag. Tights, because mites go up. There we go. I remembered it. Maybe. It still could be wrong. But we want some more rocky things in the bottom just to give us something so we can just put that in there. No big details here. Just giving it a little bit of a frame there. Oh, pick some more of that up. There we go. There we are. That's all we're doing is just using up some of this extra paint. Giving our picture a frame. There we go. And if you have a little bit of that color left, you can even pick some of that up. Dull it down a little bit. Just pick some of that up, put it in some of our color there. Dull it down. Now just come back. And we can just give some highlight on these rocks down here. There you go. Now if you want to take some time and really put some some time in here picking up these reflections or dulling them down a bit, you can do that. You can do that. But there we have it. Uh, maybe there's something over there in these corners that are Picking up some of that light as well. There we are. All right. There we have it. Oh, Mr. Gandalf fighting that Balrog as they plummet towards that lake at the bottom of that, ab that abyss in that cavern. Oh. But the fight doesn't end there. As I said, it continues. And maybe we'll continue and paint, paint where they end up at the top of the peak. They go down to the very bottom and then they run all the way back up to the top. It must have, they must have stopped for a break a time or two. I know old Timbo couldn't climb thousands and thousands of steps without taking a break, that's for sure. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's painting. This was just a quick one down in that cavern. Now, as again, I always forget to say, oh, just hit that like button and subscribe if you're even still watching by now. But I appreciate the support, and remember, if you go to TimboTook.com, then you can see some prints and things, and maybe we'll have this up in a few weeks. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, goodbye, and God bless.